Welcome to the Academic Skills Unit's presentation on report writing. This skill is important to your studies as many disciplines use reports. By the end, you will know the basic requirements for writing reports including how they differ from essays, their basic parts, style, tone and language features, and how data can be presented in reports. Reports, formal or informal, differ from essays in many ways including in purpose, presentation, supporting evidence and authorship. As a variety of disciplines like business, education and health sciences use reports, there are different interpretations of their format, content and audience. Therefore, check with your lecturers and course documentation for what is specifically required. Generally though, a report defines and analyzes the subject or problem in three parts, the preliminary material, the report proper, and supplementary material. The preliminary material can include the title page, also covering any other details such as the author and due date, the table of contents listing all headings, and the executive summary or abstract giving a very brief overview of the entire contents. Note however that for some reports, such as those on case studies, these items may not be required. Here is an executive summary from a business case study report where you can see a background and summary of the main issues along with possible solutions. The body of a report contains an introduction, body and conclusion covering areas like background, aims, scope, structure, methodology, findings, discussion, conclusion and recommendations. Here are some recommendations from a business case study report. Note that they emphasise not only what, but how and why a number of actions should be taken. The final part of a report contains supplementary material, like references and appendices, that can be consulted by readers should they require additional information for their reference. In terms of style, tone and language, reports typically use a formal objective tone that avoids colloquial language or abbreviations as you can see from some examples on this slide. Reports also tend to use passives, neutral and non-emotive vocabulary and avoid personal pronouns as in these examples. Always use the most appropriate tense. For example, the past tense for particular research conducted or other completed events, present tense for results, linking theory to practice, conclusions and recommendations, and future tense for upcoming information or events. Make your messages clear through interesting varied content. Use numbered headings, subheadings and dot points along with graphics such as tables and figures for details and graphs for trends to display data. Here for example is a pie chart from an ACU annual report that helps the reader quickly and clearly understand that the majority of ACU graduates have been successful in their hunt for full-time work. When discussing trends in any graph, two basic sentence structures can be used to express these, as seen in the examples on this slide. Numbers can be expressed in many ways including as fractions, percentages and ratios. Remember too that as reports are often written in groups, ensure all sections are consistent. Now you know that reports need to have a formal tone and clear purpose while being structured and tailored for a readership. If you would like to know more, please consult your ACU study guide.